Good morning. Welcome back. Best of the best practitioners of light and love who are the most ethical. Hmm. All right. Now let's reciprocate our very best equally, as always. <laughs> All right. It is 5.28 a.m. I woke up like an hour, an hour and a half ago. No, I would say about like an hour ago. I haven't been able to go back to sleep. I don't freaking understand it. Mm. I got hungry. That's for sure. I don't know why, but okay. I'm going to follow that lead. <laughs> mm. Also, I've observed that uh, Um, I have visitors here, so hold on a sec. There is so much energy in my room right now. It is freaking insane. It's been like that, um, since I got home from my shift. It's freaking crazy. Um, the bathroom is, sh like dripping faucets which also tells me it's a confirmation that there's energy coming through um not your usual just like tap water no no it's not that intruders mm. So, I'm going to do an energy read. Okay. What energy is around me right now? Like, what is going on here, spirit? <laughs> Angels of light and love, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages. My chakras, my auras, my space, my work. Um, and that of our children. Thanks so much. Hmm. Oh, I'm doing it backwards. Holy smokes, what the heck is going on? All right, sure. What's going on? Energy's around me. Hmm. Oh dear. Okay. There's two and two facing. Oh my gosh, what dropped is the tarot moment on top of the Tromsite tarot, and seven of wands in reverse. Hmm. Okay. So what turned up is the strength card and ten of cups in reverse, opening up to the king of cups in reverse and ace of cups. This is fan freaking fantastic. Oh my gosh, this is good. This is great. This is freaking good. Okay, what dropped on top of here, I gotta figure this ish out. Because I have a meeting with my ex's lawyer, who is off in France, and I could not tell by the cards when I did a reading, private reading, on it. Um, as to what, like, oh what to think of it because the last reading was kind of tricky you know tricky energy but then on the tail end when I just kind of eased up after like letting go from that information um actually it was um yesterday's reading had um the flower um <laughs> essences and it said to think positively and all I can really do, really, like, the best thing that I can do right now is not stress over stuff like that, okay? Like, the worst of. I am supposed to be in alignment with the best of. So, 
work with that nature, okay? Because looking at the um, intangibles, let's hold this, looking at the intangibles and understanding how energy works, um, the best thing I can do is rally up my team and um, be the like cheer leader, the front man, the um, <laughs> um, the wingman for my team, which is like being a motivating force, even being on the sidelines of when they do have to do the other work, you know, the tough stuff. So let's go ahead and just like pat each other on the back like that, you know? That way there's zero, nil reasons to why the opposing party would have much opposition. You know what I mean? That way, when if they're continuing to aggravate the situation and um, cut me less rather than cut me slack, or actually just give me what's due and honor that, then um, then they get their karma so much more pronounced, like with a heavy hand, no sorrows, no, um, no mercy, you know? So the magic goes within its utmost excellence. So let's just think positively about this, okay? Because it's a win. Um, more than um, a two-dimensional or a three-dimensional plane. You know, rather than it just being a win-win, um, we're looking at it um, most of it dimensionally. So we'll open up those doors, okay? <laughs> All right. So, um, but like in that reading, there was a seven of wands also in reversal using a different deck. So there could be like a humbling effect or somebody wanting to like... Um, I, I I don't know. It, it just seems crazy to me with a tower moment too. So there's a, like this huge decision that needs to be made for this mandatory settlement conference. And I, I mean, I've been given nothing but great news from the divine, like the highest powers. And all the messages have been following suit from the deviations of the divine. Um, in its highest standing. So there's zero reason for me to think negatively about this. Um, but what is seven of wands in reverse really when, when it's side by side with the tower moment? But so let's go ahead and look at what I was given, what was still on hand on deck with, with me. Okay. What stayed with me. First off, it was the 10 of cups in reversal, which is always highly abundant even if it's in reversal with the strength card okay this is excellent though um because we have pairs of twos here twos twos and twos you see the people and how that depicts you know hidden messaging in some that's a six of cups and what that means is that there's kinship energy here i have my my like my friends here okay um, high and low places. And, um, looking at that right here, okay, as this looks like the, they're clarifiers, not just like it just opened up to this on the first, on the, these were the top two cards here, right? Uh, was it? Yeah, I think this was the top two, okay? Um, but looking at that as clarifiers, um, <laughs> It's amazing because it's like taking spirit's cup right there. It's like holy communion. Mm -hmm. um, basically a reunion with um, Christ-like energy. Okay. It's like the body and the blood, right? Um, and that's Jesus right there. You know, they're just like doing the underground work, you know, helping us um, do the groundwork on, on what's, hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, for sure. That's what they're saying. Because with the Ten of Cups fueling this large as cup, <laughs> that's, that's fulfillment. This is fulfillment within 
um, the light body um, attributes of how um, we conceive it as humans, okay? Um, and how collectively, in some, that, um, that speaks to our soul consciousness, which is, um, you know, Christ-like energy. So this, in some, equates to that, okay? Um, and then further cementing that, thank you, Jesus Christ, for coming through. <laughs> um, you are most welcome. <laughs> but um, the strength of that, you know, it's, we're looking at um, feeding the root system, okay? Building the ground. Um, uh, spirit, uh, Jesus is helping us with the groundwork. So that's excellent. We have two eagles in the background. Are, are they hawks? I think they're hawks in reversal. I want to read for the King of Cups. Give me a second. Mm -mm. King of Cups. As fire in the realm of water, the king runs a gamut of turbulent emotions. The water boils, but as king, his authority requires a restraint of great inner power. He may feel deeply but he has mature control over powerful emotions. As a king, the, um, as a person, the king of cups can manifest as an unconditional lover. This person isn't afraid to use tough love when necessary, but despite their some, sometimes distant appearance, they are also capable of great feeling and tenderness. Their acceptance is something you can count on, and this is the kind of person whose, uh, whose support will well up behind you, sweeping you along powerfully and re-energizing you on your journey. You can love and respect this person simultaneously for their emotion authentic emotional authenticity goes hand in hand with sound judgment. Like the queen before him, the king offers a healing cup. Yeah, that's definitely Jesus Christ energy. Like frickin' yeah. <laughs> yeah, so um it looks like Jesus is commending us, um, or commending me so far with what's going on like right now so i'm gonna break into the traumasite tarot for just a second because the other two cards hit this especially the tower moment so being that it's very striking it's kind of instantaneous with um with this messaging so i'm gonna go ahead and um put these other cards back and see what spirit what Jesus has to say about this. Like, what's going on there, honey? All right. So, we're motion to get clarifiers for those seven of wands in reverse. And especially that tower moment. That tower card. What do you want? How do you want to clarify that, Jesus? Um, being, um, I think you gave me the energies around me. Um, um. Ace of Wands in reverse. Pick up your wand. Uh, let me see here. And then what fell of Five of Pentacles inverted over the Ace of Cups. We have Cunning. Ken. It's the Queen of Cups. Eight of Cups. The Sun card in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse. Ace of Ethers in reverse. Seven of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Judgment and Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. This is as much as they're going to tell me, so just give me a second, because I need to comprehend with some munchy times, or munching times, anyway. I don't know what munchies are anymore. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Number one, this being inverted, held over like basically the Holy Grail, which is self, is saying that I can go in with a bare bones approach. I was thinking that that would be going in with a bare bones approach because it's extroverted. But here, I can go in just as I am without aggravating myself to bending over backwards with this meeting solely with the opposite party. I'll say opposite instead of opposing, okay? Because we're all pretty different. And that's a, that's like a neutral judgment or label. Mm -hmm. So, we're here to, um, um, to come to some agreements, huh? So, with that, I can go in as self, like, um, bearing the truth. That's it. It doesn't mean I need to divulge every single detail. That's not what, um, um, being a person of truth is. It's not just laying all your guts on the table, being blindlessly vulnerable um, when you know um, the opposite party is paid to um, do their job. But sometimes people consider themselves, especially if they're hu huge on like being egoic, is that sometimes they think their job is um, like killing the other party rather than doing their job, which is working the seat of justice, having ethics, um, no role playing there. <laughs> it's just fulfilling the job within its spirit, um, of jurisdiction. So, um, that, that's what they're saying there. Okay. Okay. So looking at these cards, okay, clarifying the tower and the seven of wands in reverse. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Okay. Hmm. And this being um, ace of wands in reverse, so basically ten cards. So I gotta lay it all out. Get my second. Second. Mm. Right over there. Oops, it's this way. Yeah. Okay. Um, two. Three, four, five. Hmm. Is it like that? Roughly 10 cards here. Okay. Interesting. I don't know. I was told to put it like this. I was told to put it like that and then like that rather than like that and like that. It was like opposite. It's crazy. Things are so encrypted now. I mean, basically, it's like kind of the same thing, but the positioning is very different. It's very particular. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm. Number one, we have master number 77, the master revolutionary. Mm-hmm. With the pentacles and the cups. We got cookies and cups here. We have at least seven essences of kinship here. It just means seven entities, per se. It could mean that, but it could mean so much more. When you say seven essences, I'm talking about um, an energetic component, like blueprint. So, um, they can go by many names. They can be embodied by multiples. But I would, I mean, essence is very personal. So it's like a signature. So what I can humbly say, following the Seven of Wands card in reverse, is that I have seven very strong kinship energies with me right now. Okay? Because if I scan the room, they're surrounding me. <laughs> I cannot visually see them at this time, but I know they are the hell. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So, um, but, um, first as the primary, we have Ace of, um, Wands in reverse and Ace of the Ethers in reverse. Do you know how freaking crazy that is? How powerful that is? When you combine the firepower with the Ethers, like space, <laughs> that continuum that expansiveness dude it's not even just the fire the passion but wand wand element that's magic especially with the ethers holy smokes initially i got pick up your wand tina but like dude you know like this is saying like chosen one energy follow this if this is a clarifier for the seven of wands in reverse like, I am a major leader, but, like, it's it's kind of hidden underground. You see? Like, I embody the likeness of the all. So, there's there's no, like, real opposing energy. These are celebrants right here. Um, no, I could embody one of this, like, kinship energy. So, I truly have six because there's six of wands celebrating me. But... Um, this is a, this is a divine decision. This is not just a come down, but it could, it could also be a major breakthrough, like comeback. Looking at these relative cards over here, being that we have judgment as well in its upright standing, and the ace following, like clarifying an ace, ace of ethers. This is very individual to this deck. Because let me tell you, let me go ahead and try to find the Ace of Swords here, okay? Like, I, I'm always confused when I see that Ace here. Because I'm like, didn't I just see the Ace of Swords? Because I don't speak German. <laughs> but it's depicted in here. Let me just make sure. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, okay. We got that. See, Ace of Swords. So, um, we have Ace of Wands here. And let's see if we got the Ace of Cups here. Or maybe that is the Ace of Cups. Is that Ace of Cups right there? But even still, that's like a major stirring of the cup. <laughs> and that's like the Gatorade energy because it's in reversal. Oh, these, my kin is with me, like celebrating. See, I didn't know. Like, I didn't feel, I don't know. I just felt like surrounded. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Okay, I want to look at that Tower Moment card. 
splitting in the middle like it's a piece of paper. Right in front of that is chariot in reverse and six of swords in reverse. So there's a calm, but there's like, they parked. Like, what's going on here? They're just chilling. <laughs> They're just chilling. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Ace of Swords. Okay, so maybe that's the Ace of Cups, and it just looks very strange to me. Checking the deck, yeah. Okay, so, but look at that. Look at, look at the Aethers. So we have the Ace of Cups in there, and the Ace of, um, of clarifying the Ace of Wands in reverse. Definitely. I mean... Looking at this, see, um, let me find out here. Uh, oh. Hmm. So, um, the clarifier for the Queen of Cups in reverse is the Seven of Cups. Um, there's <laughs> definitely kinship energy, like, um, following my lead. Honoring me as the Queen of Cups. Highly intuitive. I have equal intuitives here. Who are revolutionaries. I mean. Next card um, that needs to be clarified. Is the Eight of Cups. It's. Um, going out to find self. But like that person looking. In the. What, what deck was that that we used? I forget what deck was that. I think it was um, the herbal tarot, herbal medicine like tarot, where somebody's like looking in the water, instead of looking at the seven of, um, what is it, the other cups as um, um, different with him, different from him, um, they're looking at the cups as like um, down in the water as reflections of himself. That's interesting. So it's it's very close to what it's saying in this card. Um, followed by the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, this process in the middle, it's, it's like the cornerstone is, the cornerstone is not like bookend energy. It's the pillar uh, right in the middle that strengthens it all, like the base level, like the root chakra of this huge establishment, okay, of finding oneself and how it takes time, how to have patience through it all. And oh my gosh, I'm in the middle of transitioning one um, video from here to um, YouTube, and it's the one dated for the 16th, okay, June 16th. And, um, like I just saw this thing on um uh a comedian and how um the industry exploits an individual who is just naturally good at what they do um but comes from like a heavy background um and so it just made me cry because um it made me realize um how my spirit and my team, my teams are helping me negotiate, um, helping me negotiate the differences between several realms and, um, to basically battle out, um, any indifferences so that I'm moving into my mission with more clarity so that I am no, I'm not duped or charmed by um, the presentations of other distractions and um, lures um, that can distract me and um, um, degrade the experience, um, disrespect um, my positioning and, and that of my teams that will not compromise them, my teams um, and those that I protect. So um, that's why it, it's, it seems like such a long and tedious process with all that I've invested in it. And um, I mean, it's, they're great learning experiences for sure. 
but this is all for a greater purpose, okay? So just constantly, I'm, I'm needing to be reminded by, <laughs> of that. Um, so we have the Sun card in reverse, clarified by um, Judgment. So again, it's walking. It's like, this is a basketball hoop, basically. You see the horns? Or the, you know, the organ. And then, um, so this is like the, the, this is like the rib cage, okay? This is the heart chakra, but like, this is like the center unit of where it like all comes together. It comes to place, comes into place, like in the hoop right there. So it's like, as above, so below, but it's kind of switched around. You see what I'm saying? So judgment is here. We walk the path. And it's like that central body, that unit where we go through, like from our root chakra, our base, um, through our solar plexus chakra to the heart chakra, etc. So we see that here. So... Um, it's very interesting. It's all coming together. That's what they're telling me. Um, so there's, there's definitely a humbling in all of this. I mean, it is a big moment. That's basically what this is saying. This is a huge moment. Um, a very big moment. So you can, they're saying you can basically sit down, calm down, chill. This is not humbling in, in its essence, but this is, um, more so... Like, you can show. You don't have to um, stand to defenses. You already have the higher ground. So, um, while you're being commemorated, while you're being celebrated and awarded um, such um, um, a feat, like uh, such a um, success within this feat, with, with your own two feet, Tina, you can rest them and just sit and just chill, okay? Because there's a falling away from this occurrence as well. You see this falling, you know, kind of. And these others falling. There are two different kinds of fallings here. There's falling from grace. Oh, where's that other one? Okay. There's a falling from grace and a falling with grace. That's what from and with, okay, got it, okay. So don't stress. Need I say more? <laughs> Freaking crazy. <laughs> I was like, how is this going to get to that? Well, you don't worry about it, Tina. Just read it. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Cool, cool. Bottom of the deck. Oh. Mm. Knight of Swords in Reverse. Focus energy. You're going to be led by the light of truth. Mm -hmm. That's your North Star, Tina. Okay, what else? Oh, frick. Ten of Cups. Holy smokes. If this is... Where is the Ten of Cups? Oh, is it? Oh my gosh, we got a Ten of Cups twofold. Really, what? Oh my gosh. Okay, we have Three of Swords here. Right behind it. You know, what Spirit is saying. I can show this to you because, like, haters be haters, but you gotta realize what the facts are. And even though this is focused energy, it's, it's for very good reason. I mean, following the Ten of Cups, which is um, something that would spark, trigger others who are not doing so well into their haterdom, activate it. <laughs> um, there's still heartbreak. That's, that's, one doesn't go without the other, basically. And, and that's the backstory of it, you know? Um... So, um, and the freaking the Ten of Swords, for sure. <laughs> you 
You know, the funny, the, that's not even funny. The crazy thing about this and defining this is that this is like almost like kind of, I don't want to say current state, but this is like fresh wounds, right? But Ten of Swords, this, this is a resulting from it, you know? This is the causation from it. Um, actually, this is the agent and this is the causation. After you remove Seven Swords, the deceit and all of that, the betrayal, and cheating, the lying, all of that. You're still left with three, and it still hurts, you know? Um, it's still, I don't even know if I would say it, it hurts, but you kind of, um, you still understand the pains of it, even when the deceit is over with. You know, even when the lies have been, you know, told. Um, so what's behind that? Nine of Wands. But it has helped us. This activation, this agent of change in some for us, which is 13 swords. It's like, uh, basically the death, uh, um, by sword. Okay. And, um, it doesn't stop at words, what's, um, verbalized, but the energy behind the thoughts, the seeds, all the impressions that are left behind by, um, those that have, you know, been guilty of that so it, it naturally um there's a peace pipe in the middle this naturally helping us find the nine of wands which is um you know standing our ground um building boundaries boundaries are a huge thing not just for others but again this is a recap from back just when i was doing my simple videos um when i first started like when my first year um we talked a lot about complacency and the many facets of that um, and, um, we talked about boundaries quite a bit and how it's not just for others, but especially for self, you know, you can only control yourself. So, um, that's really mastering, um, st stabilization within the root chakra and having that, like, um, do like the group, what do you call it? The buddy system with the, um, uh, uh, sacral and the or sacral and the solar plexus chakras you know it's being solid so um yeah so having boundaries okay it's split to this one which is the wheel of fortune in reverse we have the dragon energy here um so it it led up to this point. It's, it's showing us, um, not letting led up to that point, but it showed us like the backstory of why, um, we needed to kind of grab hold of our wheel mm -hmm. in navigation. Okay. So top of the deck is the fool card in reverse. So spirit put a break on th this, you know, like, um, that, oh, the one on the 16th is um i remember that playlist i already like divined it it was um the breaks by curtis blow so it's very saying like these are the breaks break it up break it up break it up break down mm -hmm. so um this is right before a new journey mm -hmm. okay yeah an introduction to new life um to a fresh clean slate better identifying self so why do we have the, the lust or the strength card in reverse here when we had it upright initially two of cups in reverse hmm eight of swords in reverse that's confusing huh Oh, okay. This is an introduction to new self. It's melding of all these lessons. Um, to understand what... Okay, this is strength um, training. Um, even like... <clears throat> within the sacral chakras of um, upcoming um, unions. Like, um, when we meet new people, when we meet a new crowd, like... It's not just, oh, do they vibe with us? Or do we, it's also, do we vibe with them? Like, we're, we're, we're turning the tables now. 
No, we're not going to ask, do they vibe with us? No, do we vibe with them? <laughs> That's the prerequisite. Mm -hmm. And even still, we go beyond that. And we have to, like, vet it out. So we have to have, like, with this new identity, with this enhanced and supplemented um, um, character um, that we've developed to, it's like, we want to keep ourselves from getting stuck. Okay? That's Eight of Swords in reversal again. So, um, we're going to size up our situations better. Mm -hmm. We have the know-how to employ upon immediacy or within, you know, intuitive timing. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, yeah, that's definite there. Okay, cut the deck one more time here. Hangman in reverse. Yep, definitely an awareness awakening on that level. Um, all right, so we're going to go back, shift back to the um, tarot of, no, healing light tarot, excuse me. Okay. Two of pentacles inverted. So it's weighing self out. It's, um, how do you value, um, like, how do you value yourself? Mm -hmm. Or instead of asking that, make it more of a declaration for self. Mm -hmm. Ace of Swords and pinning that down. Mm -hmm. Like pinning yourself down for sure before anyone else can get you stuck. So this hit the um, Ace of Cups in reverse. But first off, we got the Sun Accentuate. Oh, we got a whole bunch of other cards. What the heck? Okay, okay, on top of the Ace of Swords, lay the Emperor in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Star. Okay, so pinning yourself down, they already pinned it for me, I'm covering it up with the Sun accentuated. Like, I have badass Emperor underground energy there. Spirit is with me on that. Um, nixing out, like detecting the deceit and the lies, and having stronghold on that not just by being a star who i am but also accentuated as the sun mm -hmm. holy smokes that's crazy okay so ace of cups in reverse um this fell on it <clears throat> ten of swords holy crud i thought it was ten of wands what the heck No, it's Ten of Wands. Okay. The Hangman in, in reverse again. Temperance. The Moon card in reverse. And then again, the Two of Cups. Yeah, not Pentacles. Two of Cups. Wait, what the heck? Where did we see the Two of Cups again? Oh, I, I guess we saw it in the other deck, huh? Hmm. Hmm. So I am being commended for um, all the responsibilities that I've taken on. Like you see the locust energy, you know. Um, I've taken on the pests, basically. I'm pest control. <laughs> That's what's. Oh my gosh. So even though it was, it's been a huge responsibility, and it's depicted as backbreaking. I still took it on. And I'm still moving. I'm still healthy. Just made me stronger. All of those exercises was helping with the transcendence here to celestial celestial beings. Okay, it's like LED light, the string of them, you know, but it like wand energy. So it's lighting up the way into the greater calling. So it's like beaming down also on the transcendence here. The awakening mm -hmm. again to the solar plexus chakra it's it's actually shown you know pointing to the solar plexus chakra okay um and it highlighted over here as the sun coming together in judgment you know it's like right in the hole i don't know why i'm hearing bogey i don't even know what that means 
Um, I don't even. Does that? It doesn't even make sense. I I don't know. It's got to. I don't know. But um, you know, there's a solid. So you're there. It's like things start coming into balance, into fruition. This is an archangel heralding it, celebrating it. Like, thank God. <laughs> I mean, it's just like a relief. Like, ah, it's good. So we have the moon card in reverse. This is um, all about following through with intentions, harmonizing. Um, I told you back in the day, I uh, did vow and petition to spirit that I would... Um, my purpose would be um, in request to harmonize um, not just humanity, but harmonize like all sentience. Um, you know that, that those hashtags that I use, um, even though they might sound like what kitschy or whatever, or you know not cool. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? Um, it's real, you know. Harmonizing humanity, facing fears, um, progress, not perfection, respect the process. Um, those are core basics. So not only to not underestimate them, but don't like, don't go with what everybody else positions them as when like those are just projections. When they just say like, when they make you feel uncool. <laughs> ridiculous okay so um most definitely i mean that fell on the ace of cups in reversal so bottom of the deck before we get to bananagrams is the hermit card so seeing the darkness okay that's all there is to it even galactic darkness you see it's kind of blurred but spirit says don't underestimate your light you know you just came out of the forest. And you could be looking back into it too. It's vetting yourself. Mm -hmm. Especially during calm times. Like, all right, so just for me, middle of the deck. King of Swords in reverse. There might be some uh, mind control here. But I don't really feel like it for this particular one. Because there's just a butterfly right there. I just noticed that. Um, to me, it feels like I have underground, like I have major control. I mean, major power, basically, over the subconsciousness, the rising, like the truth in it that lies in everyone's subconsciousness. And that's how I can harmonize um, sentience, all sentience. Definitely. <laughs> That's interesting. There's a jewel on the hilt of the sword. Of light. Okay. So that's for me. Okay. I'm going to lay you right there. Oh, three of pentacles. And right, just right there. Devising plans. It's it's my it's my job. The know-how. I'm going to put it right on top of there. Right behind me. Already fortified. Yeah. Two of wands right there. For sure. Yeah. All right, okay, now for my crew here. <laughs> um, my, my kin visitors. Oh, freaking frick. Ten of pentacles. Freaking industry. I bet they are jumping with joy. <laughs> I this ten of pentacles. My visitors here. Oh, my kitten, freaking put that right on top, my dearies. <laughs> they just lowered their guard. <laughs> That's funny. Or maybe they already came in with a lowered guard. Who knows? Now for my visitors right here. <laughs> the ones, my ethicals, my most ethicals. What do we have? Yeah. Page of Swords, my learners. You got two butterflies here instead of a single. Highly protected right before you and right, um, you know, standing at your back. Your transformative process. You're already engaged, okay? So you're basically you're the third butterfly. Your kinship energy with these other two, okay? So you in the learning process, 
other mat automatically voids out um the essence of heartbreak when you look at it straightforward in the eye and see it for what it's what it is what it's supposed to show you when you mirror the three of swords energy one two three with the three of swords as it stands with without courtship here um without the role of courtship here you're basically doing the Hayoka and pathway <laughs> there's no lie there you're facing it as a transformational like value Okay, so that's good. Let's stand behind you because I know your curious like is okay. That's good, but is there more? <laughs> of course, there is freaking judgment right behind that. Definitely, you see what oh my gosh, the way this is, the way this is positioned, you are looking at. Not just your sword, what you wield in front of you, what's in your hands, what, what you can control and your awareness of what surrounds you. But also, you're looking at a judgment coming through, okay? And um, looking at everyone who's housed within their bubbles that like is going to get a shitload um, coming down on them. Judgment reigns, okay? So... That's very interesting. Well, good for you. <laughs> Great. Let's see. So we forgot about the top of the deck. Seven of Pentacles again. It is a journey. So be patient, my dearies. But don't be like patient. Like, uh, when is when can I, you know, move from this waiting room? You know. Hmm. I had to get the nanograms. Because indeed it is time. We're sitting inside spirit. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Holy crud. Okay. What do you want to follow me? Uh, oh, okay. You and T. Hmm. Hmm. What could that mean? What could it mean? What could it mean? Oh. <clears throat> Spirit says, remember, it's like a popsicle. <laughs> You're the big, big papa. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> That's hilarious. When I, I, I didn't understand it. <coughs> I was just doing the reading. Like, I don't know. <coughs> I didn't understand it at first, but then when I did the replay and did the, um, um, like the, what do you, when I was doing the channeling for the playlist, I don't know, it was like a couple of readings ago and it was Big Papa. That was freaking hilarious. I was like, no way. That's, I knew it, like there was some kind of thing that, I don't know, it was weird. <laughs> Mm. B T G T Z I E O W O Y T Y L F X E E E B A W E G M U C E you are. I don't know why I have come here, but. Okay. We have exalt. Again, zygote. Dude. <laughs> Somebody wants to <laughs> start a family or something. Pregnant or something. I don't know. Blame. Huh. Flame. Oh, dude. We have... Now, do we have an N here? No. Okay. Um...
Um, goat. Gigabyte. Trilobite. Oh, you know what? There's leadership energy. You know the fossil of the um the little critters? It's trilobite. Uh, I need to put that. So I think it's Okay, so we have um first malt. Um mal okay. Names. Okay, we have Wilton. No, we don't have Wilton because there's no N. Um, Wilbur. That's, um, I think the pig in Charlotte's Web. What the frick? I need to write this stuff down. Hmm. Okay, I'll use this. <clears throat> um, and then I will use... Uh, okay. What is this? Okay. Wilbur. Chillo bite. Zygote. Mm, exalt. I don't know why I'm getting cum laud here. Um because we don't have a D, but dude, somebody has a huge sex drive here. They they can, cause after that, I, I use, there's like come loud, <laughs> but there's no D here. And if you know what no D here means, you know what that means. So anyway, um, table, or as Lucy would say, la table. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> um, so we have some French speakers here. Um, Mabel. There's a lot of names here. I mean, there's like, ugh, I don't even know what to start. Um, Eric. Um... Marty, mm. um, Earl, um, <clears throat> Artie, mm. I see family. Oh shoot, we're gonna put family right here for sure. <laughs> Abel. Also Cain, oh wait, no, no, we don't have Cain. Um, oh, Tori. Um, all right, we're going to put family first, okay? Ah, you have to have family first, okay. Wait, where's the F? Okay, there we go. A, M, I, I'm seeing execute too. That's excision. Family, trilobite, trilobite is a good um, stone fossil for like leadership. Give me a look, let me find out. Yep, um, trilobite is, uh, hold on. 
We have trilobite, but we don't have another eye. I thought we had a Y somewhere there, but it's hidden energy so that we wouldn't have haters here looking at like just shopping around for the correct wording on my bananagrams to dip into my readings because there's there's those you know so for those that really sit in you got that leadership management energy stone that you can work with because it's calling you um oh, goodness gracious okay um Mm, I see tourmaline here. T O U. Where's the R? Tor. Do we have an M? Or is it just W's? Oh my gosh. I have to write this down. Oh. Well, family is here. Let me see. A L I. Oh no, we don't have the end, but it's still like, dude, what's going on here? There's some really like yucky energy around. Okay, maybe that's why my team is here. Um. Okay. Family tour. Oh. That's interesting. Turbo. Rambo. I'm getting executor. I also have electrocute. Also have Electra. Oh my gosh. Because I'm like, why am I having to? Like, okay, so executor. Okay. It could also be Elector. Family Executor. So, you know, when it comes to a spiritual warfare, and we're looking at, okay, my positioning is to bring basically the tower moment to others okay other entities and um naturally whether it's a single person or a full-on you know entity 
um, they go through a death process, okay? And, um, and they rise anew. But within the death process, um, someone needs to be, um, not just in the know, but in the understandings of what's the greatest good. So they're assigned as an executor. So I'm assigned as the family executor here. Interesting. A formal executor. I don't, I don't even understand why. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that I'm elect here for the family. Like, my family isn't just comprised of people who just, like, did the work, you know? These are people who are of the elect. I don't know why it's saying that, but it's saying that, just as I. Okay. Hmm. You have Brexit also again here mentioned. I haven't mentioned that in a long time. It's still saying elect executor. What? Oh my gosh. Do you know how big that is? Holy can Executor. No, it's still giving me executor. Elect executor. What the frick? Hmm. I have today. No, I don't have it because it's, the D isn't here. Um, there's awe, A-W-E, within people seeing that I'm the family executor. Dude, I don't... <clears throat> I think maybe... The initial is that people are, like, in awe of, um, like what I can do. <laughs> but then there's also that crowd that's, you know, in awe. No, awe is a good thing. Yeah. So we're going to leave it at that. Mm. I'm seeing beg here. People are begging for our, our um, forgiveness or something like that. I don't know. Grow. I have Azurite for sure. Okay, I'm gonna put Azurite for sure. That's a stronger one. Again, a stone of leadership, as I um, am called to say it.
<clears throat> huh. I have a lot of letters left, so give me a sec. Hmm? I see trouble. Also trouble. Hmm. Also bubble. Grub? No. About hmm. 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 Oh my gosh, I must have just outed the executor too. Mm-hmm. I feel like that. Yeah, we're toying around with the finances. Bet for sure. Oh my gosh. I outed a lot of people who were um, abusing their um, positionings. Yeah, bet. Something about an EBT. Ego. Lego my ego. Yep. There's something about that.
bow. There's a D right there, the bow. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice packaging, bow. Yeah, for real. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's the big D right there. Nice packaging. <laughs> that's funny, because that's a D right there. <laughs> a flexible D. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> there you go. So all the others applied, the ones that... I told you I could not use Termaline, Trilobite, whatever was on the D. Interesting. That's crazy. Um, also, let me move this stuff up. Because it's more than just that. They're saying. With that big red bow. There's like buy-in. With what I just <laughs> came together with.